What's going on, y'all? Making this quick video by request on this Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion situation. Not really the situation, but kind of, I'm going to give y'all a, a different perspective. The perspective I, I had looking at this. Because I never really cared about, I don't care about celebrity news. So I don't have a side. I'm not on Tory's side. I'm not on Megan's side. You know, I look at it as celebrity, celebrity uh, bullshit. Just, you know, celebrity headlines to keep people entertained by dumb shit. But what made me want to look into it a little more was when I saw Tory Lanez put out his album. The name of his album and what I later found out is his real name is Daystar. Right. So that right there grabbed my attention because I know what this Daystar is or I know who the Daystar is. Right. So if you don't know, Daystar is the morning star and the morning star is Lucifer. All right, let's go to the to the Bible. All right. All right. This is the English standard version of the Bible. Isaiah 14, 12. How are you falling from heaven? O day star, son of dawn. All right. Now let's switch this to the King James version of the Bible. Hold up. Hold up. Nope. Not that one. Even though it probably said the same thing. There we go. Switch it to the King James Version, and you see, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? All right. Now, if you didn't know, Lucifer and Jesus is referred to as the morning star or the day star. So, again, let's go back to Tory Lanez. All right. Now, Tory Lanez, he... He owns all his masters now. I think back in May, he officially owned his masters and, and went independent. After going independent, right? Tory, we got to realize Tory Lanez is a part of the music industry, whether he's independent or not. So he a part of the music industry. So after he gets his masters and goes independent, it seems as if the music industry has casted Tory Lanez out of the spotlight or not necessarily the spotlight, but just uh, bringing him down from where he once was. And to me, that is symbolic of Lucifer, who was once in heaven. He was once an angel in heaven and he got cast down to earth or to the underworld. That's where it got the name Lucifer from, right? So that to me is symbolic of everything that's going on with Tory Lanez now. And then we got the most hot song. He dropped the most hot song where he's speaking against the Illuminati and saying that uh, the devil tried to steal his soul. As you see right here, this is the music video, Most High. Again, then you got the song Most High coming from Daystar. To me, that is, is very ironic. But like I said, that's why I'm really even looking into this because I feel like it's a deeper message. And I, I don't feel like it's uh, that that simple as uh, Tory Lanez being blackballed. Because like I said, he's, he's in the music industry. Uh, so I feel like it's some, some more to what's going on. Let's take a look at these, the lyrics. Right? He said, uh, devil want a nigga so I beat that nigga a thousand times in a row. So in the video, he got Daystar or Lucifer or Jesus fighting Satan, the devil, which later on in life, uh, people argue that Lucifer wasn't the name for, for Satan, but Again, we got to go off modern, uh, modern history. What was what we go off now? So, uh, Illuminati trying to get me. Facts. We say facts. They trying to get them. Now, I'm not so sure. Again, I don't think it's just uh, that simple as. Tory Lanez is exposing the music industry, but I don't know. I got to look more into it. I'm trying to keep this under five minutes, so I might do a part two.